So, so, here's what I'm after tonight. Elkanah is not only the spirit that makes you satisfied with an old season, but it lulls you into a place of complacency and apathy. <laughs> it, it lulls you into a place where once God begins to say and show you that there's more, the reason why God begins to take certain people and certain houses and certain movements and begin to do things, he's doing that to provoke you. He's doing that to provoke you. He's doing that to make you say, wait a minute, why aren't I seeing that? <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, on Friday night, this past Friday night, I was preaching and uh, I started talking about the testimonies that were happening. Then a lady, she came up, she hadn't walked without her walker and her cane for 14 years until Friday. Wait, wait. I think either y'all in shock or you think I didn't give her a piece of pizza. The lady got healed. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give you in the name of Jesus. Take up your bed, rise up. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, then um, I told the testimony on Sunday. And sure enough, after service, another lady comes up to me in a cane. She injured her hip. She used to be a dancer. She's saying, um, I heard the testimony. I want to be healed too. I said, well, let's pray. That woman walked in with her cane. She walked out without it. I'm trying to provoke you to understand the kind of season that we're in. So Hannah, so Hannah, so Hannah had to say, listen, I'm sorry. I know that you used to be a blessing to me. And I know that I was happy with you at, in another season. And when we got married, I was telling everybody, look at my man, Elkanah, and he fine, and he good, but you're not good enough anymore. And no, you are not better than 10 sons because what God wants to birth in me is something that is bigger than me. It will outlast me. It will change the nations of the earth. I was crying out for a son. God wants a prophet. He put that in me. He's awakened me to the thing that he wants me to have. And now I got to go into his presence and cry out for it. Now here in my last two and a half minutes, you need to hear this because we're about to release a sound right here. The Bible says that she goes into the temple and she's crying out in anguish. And, and the old season, the old anointing, the old system didn't fully understand what they were seeing when a new generation began to cry out for more. And so what happens is Eli looks at her and he misunderstands her cry. And he said, why must you come in here drunk? And it's because he misunderstands her cry, I need you to understand that one of the things that God's about to do in this season is answer the cry of the misunderstood. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's about to answer the cry of the misunderstood. Those who have a cry on the inside of them and people don't understand why you're so loud, they don't understand why you cry so much, they don't understand why you're not satisfied with the normal, they don't understand why you're not satisfied with the usual, they don't understand why you want to fast, they don't understand why you want to pray and I came in here to tell you, oh you who are misunderstood, don't lose your cry because this is the season where God is about to answer the cry of the misunderstood understood and he's about to burn a prophetic thing in the earth I don't know about you but if anybody's hungry for the more of God begin to open up your mouth in this room come on dream center begin to open up your mouth in this room God is responding to the cries of his people God is responding to the cries of his people he's responding to the cries of the misunderstood and he's about to burn a prophetic thing that is shake the nation well I'm just giving you space for the misunderstood ones you need to open up your mouth again some of y'all you don't know what to do you keep coming closer to the altar and you wondering can I can I do that yes you can yes you can you keep wondering can, can do I have permission there's some people that sometimes you have to say excuse me I'm, I'm there's something on the inside of me I've got to get out I'm not satisfied I'm not satisfied I want more that's it that's it that's it that's it, that's it, that's it, 
You've been waiting for permission. Sometimes you got to say, listen, I can't let you. I can't let you get in my way. I can't let you get in my way. I'm after God. I'm, I'm after something. I'm, I'm after something. I'm, I'm after something. I'm, I'm after something. I'm after more. I'm not leaving here until I know I have an anointing. The kind of anointing that the dead are raised. The kind of anointing with the lame walk. The kind of anointing where deaf ears open. The kind of anointing where blind eyes open. I want to go into Walmart and see a miracle. I want to go into Target and see a miracle. I want to go to the mall and see a miracle. It's on me. Come on, if you're down here, that means you're hungry. I know we got to go home, but I would tell you right now to open up your mouth because this is the moment that God is answering the cries of the misunderstood. This is the moment that God is answering the cry of the hungry. This is the moment some of you have discovered a treasure. Some of you have been waiting on it. And some of you have been awakened to something brand new. And if that's you in this room, open up your mouth and cry out to God. There's a generation in this room that's after the more. And I declare to you that you're going to see it. 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 level yeah I'm gonna give you this and I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna give it back to Bishop some of us are wondering we keep waiting on something to happen first we keep waiting on something to happen first when God said it was gonna rain we keep looking up for the sky but the Bible says in Genesis 7 when the fountains of the great deep were broken open then the heavens open can I let you know that when your fountain is broken open heaven joins you that's called sending heaven's help 
if you would begin to open up the fountain of the great deep what you're going to discover is God's about to send heaven's help would you open up your mouth now one more time thing the Acts 2 phenomenon the Acts 2 phenomenon is getting ready to hit this house now what I mean by that the Bible says on the day of Pentecost we understand this they were all together in one place on one accord and it says suddenly there came a sound as of a mush rushing mighty wind that's the first thing that happened and then they saw what appeared to be tongues of fire which meant that a sound preceded the move a sound preceded what they saw but I'm going to tell you the Acts 2 phenomenon that's getting ready to happen here listen carefully because we're about to release a sound not only does a sound precede the move it announced it because the Bible says that men all around, the people all around, began to come running to see what was the sound. God's about to put a sound in this house that's going to cause the city to come running and say, what's happening at the Dream Center? What's happening at the Dream Center? And I'm telling you, he's putting a sound in you that's about to cause others to take note and say, there's a move of God about to hit this city. If you believe it, release the sound.
you show me I'm not satisfied until the doctors have to change their mind I'm not satisfied Listen, let's take the next few moments. Sometimes we can be so dependent upon instructions. Let's take the next few moments as we just allow the glory of God to do what he does. Just around this altar and all around this room and those of you who are worshiping online with us, I, I just want you to just worship in your own way. Just Let's just let the Spirit of God have His way for the next few moments. And somebody has the song of the Lord, sing it out, but let's just... He want more. We want more. Carrying a few things here. I'm carrying a few things here. Come on, don't stop your worship just yet. I'm gonna give something corporately. I'm gonna give a couple of things individually and then release something corporately as well. After Jesus said what he said to go back and tell John, the Bible says that he turned to the others standing there, and the Bible says. And we've heard this scripture before, but I don't think we fully understood it. He says, from the time John the Baptist began preaching until now, the way that we've heard it all of our lives, the kingdom suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. That's the way that we've heard it. That's the way we understood it. That's the way that it's written in the King James and the New King James Version. But if you do a word study on that, what you'll discover is what Jesus is actually saying was that from the time John the Baptist began preaching until now, the kingdom is forcefully advancing and the desperate are pressing in on it or seizing it. What you're seeing right here, what you're seeing right now, is once people heard that the entire reality of the kingdom was available by faith and not by works, they said, you can't keep us out of it. We want it. And so everywhere, everywhere Jesus went, there were crowds everywhere pressing in because what he was saying is the kingdom is forcefully advancing and those who are desperate are seizing it. I just want to know one more time because God's about to release two things prophetically. I just want to know one more time, are there any people in this room who are seizing it, who are desperate, who are saying I'm after it? Where the desperate? 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 Where are those who are saying, you can't keep me out of this next move. You can't keep me out of this next season. You can't keep me out of this next level. I'm going for it. I got two things. I got two things. I'm going to obey the Lord. Jesus. God's about to release signs in this room. Jesus. 
and you're going to see it among you. The Holy Spirit wanted me once again to encourage you, Bishop. I know this happened a month ago or so, but the Holy Spirit told me to encourage you one more time, and this is a sensitive area, but I need you to hear what the Lord just said. The Lord just told me to tell you that because you did not give up hope in his power at the passing of your mother, he's not just going to give you clean hands, he's going to give you healing hands. God's about to heal that thing multiple times over and you're going to see the power of God working in your life. You're going to see signs and wonders. These hands are going to see miracles. If it's on him, that means it's on the house. If it's on him, that means it's on the house. You're about to see miracles, signs and wonders. Come on, if that's you, I receive it for myself. I receive it. Because guess what? You're going to see some tonight. saw two things. Somebody stand with her, please. Jesus. There's a new mantle coming on you. It's going to be an atmosphere shifting mantle. It's going to be a suddenly atmosphere shifting mantle. What God's getting ready to do is put such a strong mantle on your life that the moment you open up your mouth, the heavens are going to open. And you've wondered, will I have it like my predecessor? God says, I'm about to put a mantle on your life. And when, when you open up your mouth, the heavens are about to open. Your question is about to be answered. But that's not all. Wait, I wanted to hear the rest. I wanted to hear the rest. I want you to hear the rest. Woo. Hear me clearly. This is the other thing I saw. God said he's about to set you on fire. He said he's about to literally set you on fire. Your private times are about to shift to another level. And everyone in here is going to know it when you see it. Because she's about to come. And the name is right. It's about to be contagious. My God. When he sets her on fire, the rest of you are about to be set on fire. He's about to release a new sound in this house. Somebody open up your mouth and receive that too. I'm just going to tell you this now. Lift up your hands to the Lord. The power of the Lord is present to heal. The power of the Lord is present to heal. And what I need you to know about the power of the Lord being present to heal is not only does he heal in the presence of faith, he also heals in the presence of skeptics. Oh yeah. He heals in the presence of faith and he heals in the presence of skeptics. And I'm going to tell you now, the power of the Lord is present to heal. So I need some people right here who have the kind of tenacity and deliberate action like the woman with the issue of blood that are willing to push past the crowd and say, Jesus, I'm not leaving until I'm changed. I'm not leaving until I'm healed. I'm going to get out of you all that you have for me. 
Come on, keep those hands lifted. I know they get tired. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you that the power of God begin to flow throughout this entire place, from the front to the back, from right to left, even in the balcony. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the healing power of God begin to flow through this room right now. Holy Spirit, begin to touch your people all over this room. I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed. I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Breast cancer, I command you to be healed. Diabetes, be healed in the name of Jesus. Migraines, be healed in the name of Jesus. Arthritic conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. We bind the works of the devil. We lose the healing power of God all throughout this room. And I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed. Come on, I need you to pull on it with faith right here. I need you to pull on it with faith right here. God's healing people in this room. He's touching people in this room. Yes, God. Come on, pray, y'all. Pray, pray. The Spirit of God is healing people in this room. I don't know why I keep hearing breast cancer over and over, but he's healing it. 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 Yes, Lord. I'm telling you, when Jesus the healer is in the room, healing is available. When Jesus the healer is in the room, healing is available. It's available. It's available. It's available. It's available. It's available. Come on, this is a good place to worship him right here. This is a good place to worship him right here. Yes, God. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. Everything you need is available right now. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. Many of you are going to leave this room completely differently than the way that you came in. We take authority over the spirit of infirmity. We command it to go now in Jesus' name. We command it to loose its hold. And we thank you for the healing power of God being released all throughout this room. Gonna see. 